Good morning, hot dogs. Big broadcast to hooligans and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Big broadcast tryouts are today. If you are wanting to show off your hidden talent on February 23rd and 25th, make sure to stay. Head to the theater right after school. If you have any questions, make sure to see Mr. Taylor as soon as possible. Mrs. Hale has received many new books in the library, including biographies, fiction, nonfiction, graphic novels, and Spanish titles. Ask your teacher for a pass to the library to check them out. Also, please know that the library is available during community for you to work on assignments with other students from different community classes. Just get a pass from your community teacher. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Hale. A huge congratulations to this week's Hot Dogs of the Week. In 9th grade, Ellie Perez. In 10th grade, Leo Lozano. In 11th grade, Marcelino Cervantes. And in 12th grade, Malachi Galishan. And as for our staff, Mrs. Everett, keep up the good work, dogs. Now to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Tuesday night, the girls traveled to Prairie to face off against the Gophers. In a tough game, Daisy Santos led the way with six points, and Jalen Vest was added an extra bucket. The Lady Hot Dogs play again on Thursday night, January 20th, at Southmont. In the JV game, the Lady Hot Dogs got beat 15 to seven, and and fall to seven and 10 on the year. Daisy Santos led the way with three. Ellen Vasquez and Cyra Flores both added two, and the JV play again on Thursday, January 20th at Southmont. And the boys basketball team defeated Pioneer 46 to five last night. Matthew Berry and Landon Stewart led the balanced scoring attack with 12 and 10 points. Cameron, Cameron Zing added three points off the bench and Chino Valdez added seven. They will travel tonight to Western to face off against the Panthers at 6. Now, I'm going to send it down below. Good morning, dogs. When we woke up, it was in the mid-30s. We'll have cloudy conditions most of the morning, but later this afternoon, we should expect some heavy rainfall. There's a small chance of thunder to go with it towards midnight. Wind gusts will range anywhere from 5 miles per hour to 20. That's all for weather. Now back to Carlos. Thanks, Emily. Last night, the hot dog wrestling team honored the four seniors, Emma Pillion, Abram Lopez, and Nelson Honor, and Keith Pippinger. The meet began close, with the dogs and the Indians being neck and neck, with pins on both sides of the, net, of the mat. Senior Abram Lopez started off the dogs by pinning his opponent, putting the dogs on the board, directly followed by Nelson picking up a kid and smiling at Coach Byers, then pinning his opponent right afterwards. After this, Keats fell in a hard-fought battle, following that Emma Pillion continued to dominate by pinning her opponent in the first period. The final score for the dogs were 36 to 48. With the dogs looting, losing by forfeits, the wrestling team is back on the mat on January 28th for sectionals. That's all for the sports segment. Now, I'm going to send it back to your host. For Autism Awareness Month, Best Buddies is doing a fundraiser for the club. There are two shirt options and the cost is $14 or $17. The shirts can be purchased from the bookstore or Ms. Jagger. Money and orders are due January 31st. Order forms can be found in the chatter. The second hooligan show of the year is coming up this Friday. It will take place right after the Benton Central game and it's only $2 to attend. Be there or be square. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2 will be beef nachos, in line 3 will be rotini, and line 4 will be French bread pizza. And that's all for today's announcements. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a Tubes or Tuesday dogs.